Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jackson from Loveless Vintage here, and today we're gonna be going to my friend Cecil's Vintage Shop in Tacoma, Washington. Never been there before, but it looks really cool. I'm bringing him some stuff to maybe make a deal. Maybe we'll make a trade. There is a tea that I really want of his, so maybe we can make some sort of deal. Maybe I'll buy some stuff. He'll buy some stuff for me, but it should be cool. I'm gonna show you guys his shop, maybe talk to him a little bit about owning a vintage shop. Never really thought about owning a vintage shop myself, so it'd be cool to get some insight from him. And yeah, just film some cool content there. So make sure to like the video, subscribe if you guys are into thrifting and vintage content let's go sips well curated secondhand clothing sips and kicks the anime baddie here we are all right how's it going <laughs> okay we're pulling up to the spot here it is i see him kick this in really quick Look at this guy. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Look at Why this. Why are you laughing? Look at this guy. Wait, wait. Turn the hat around. I don't want to see the hat. Boom. Where you guys seen that before? Oh my god. Right here. This is actually that's actually the reason why I got it. No. Did you did you search it out and find it because of that? My, actually, my friend, um, my friend Joe, who's always with me, he um, got me this hat for Christmas because we saw you wear it. <laughs> that that's so, so corny. We're in that state of mind. Enough about peeing and pulls. Where are we right now? So. We are at my shop, Sips, in uh, downtown Tacoma. Sips stands for shop in past styles. I really didn't want to call myself a vintage shop. You know, past styles could be for anyone. You know, secondhand clothing is one of my favorite things. But um, yeah, this is it. I definitely curate anime. And um, kind of like my childhood, I'm from, yeah. Um, I'm like, yeah, we got some- That's just all mids. Just, like, just, some, all mids. just some mids on the ground. Oh, 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 oh by the way, also, what is your, what is your name, sir? Uh, my name is Cecil. I am 25 years old. There we go. Um, single as all could be. Stop. Uh, <laughs> no. Is it a dating profile? Okay. It could be. Okay. Know. Okay. You think about it, we'll come back to you it. You got some Depop girls or something on your- Nah. Just, no, no, just <laughs> What is this? Oh, is this a little tote? What? What is this? From Studio Ghibli. What? Convention exclusive promotional item not for sale? Did you get this for me? Yeah. Dude, thank you so much. What the hell? Wow. I... Oh, that's my new tote. There you go. Thank you very much. Wow. Okay, should I just give you what I brought you right now? Yeah, we're just jumping in? Yeah. Okay, uh, so I brought, I brought like a bag of stuff. Like right. nothing crazy in here or anything. But there was something that like, dude, I was going through my garage the other day. Mm -hmm. And like, I just have a lot of stuff that like, I just don't want to list or like... Is it like tease or like... What? No, you'll see. I'm just going to pull Wait. it. I'm going to pull it out. Wait, I don't want you to look though because like... We're supposed to go through this stuff. Wait, I have a few gifts. Okay. Here. What, what do you mean few? <laughs> what the f It's not real. It's not real. Okay. But, but I have two little, because I can't like sell them on Depop or anything. So I don't know if you don't just like put them up for like a couple bucks or something or in a pile. But like, we got the Disney Gucci. Dude, so stupid. The and then just a little like scarf thing. I just found those in my garage. But this. Okay, here it is. Okay, I brought that. Wait, hold on. Let me guess what it is. Okay, okay, guess. It's, it's Gen 3. Well, so it's Pokemon, right? Yes, it's Pokemon, but it's Gen 3. Or, I think it's Gen 3. It is, oh, wait, hold on. It's Gen 4. <laughs> what the f I'm gonna sleep in this. Isn't that thing. sick? What the hell? It's like a comforter Dude. cover or something. I got it out of the bins like so long ago and I was like, I don't know what to do with it. Dude, I, I didn't even look it up. Like maybe it's actually worth something. Or my but... future girlfriend's friend with this shit. I don't know, you were oh. doing like the Pokemon Live the other mm -hmm. night and I was like, dude, maybe you can hang it up in the store or this something. Sick as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Once again, I hope my future girlfriend likes this too. <laughs> She's sleeping underneath it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, well, you got Pokemon stuff up on the wall. Yeah. Pokemon stuff right here. Thank you so much for that. Yes, sir. There we go. What do we have here? You have a little buyout you little did. Buyout. Just a little buyout. What do we got going on on the floor right um, now? What is, like, what is, what is, what is going on? Are you just pulling out some, some this bangers? Is like, you know, people don't like this stuff anymore. This is all <laughs> cheap stuff. Oh, okay. Um, it's not real. They're all fake. Yeah, um, that's what I thought. This one, especially. Oh yeah, that one's definitely fake. Uh, okay, cool. Um, never seen it on that Lunita tag. Exactly, not even in English, so this and one is de definitely fake. Yeah, the fade, like, I heard people hate fades. Yeah, true. That one too? This that one, yeah, this one's fake. No, but are these actual, like, the, are these, like, personals? Or yeah, these are all my personals. Um, okay. I wanted to, like, photograph a lot of them today. So we're gonna pretend, like, I just walked in. And, like, this is, like, 
Welcome to the store. So what do we have here? Like, why don't you like describe like what we're looking at here, like the sections. Okay, so we just walked in. So what do we what do we have here? We're in downtown Tacoma in your vintage store. So uh, just, just describe what we have going on here. Just a little breakdown of like the shop. Yep, yep. Uh, right now we're in transitioning of season. So we're heading into fall. Uh, this used to be like a whole t-shirt wall. Now it's like sweaters, flannels, like outerwear. Uh, definitely more high demand at the moment. The wall tees are so dry right now. No, nah, we got some good stuff on the wall, yeah, though. we got some good the stuff. The bondage fairies. That, that's, yeah, that one's cool. Um, <laughs> what is... Oh. We got a hoop? We got a hoop in here? Not regulation, but... Uh, <laughs> not, not regulation size? I, I'm too short. You, you know that I hoop, right? You know that hoop? Maybe we can make some sort of... Uh... Do you actually hoop? No, dude. Yeah, Wait, have you, you actually? Have you not seen my Instagram story, no. bro? I used to. Maybe you weren't following me back then. Like maybe a year ago, I would like go shoot hoops like every day. I was posting. Yes, like we'll make some sort of like gamble deal where like if I make a hoop, like we're gonna do that. We're you gonna do that. <laughs> it's not regulated. Okay. But for the most part, most of my shop is based off of like what I like, and I love anime uh video games just what i grew up with so we have like bi color these are just yeah. like just basic whatever tees like i what would you say like the price range is like for tees like... for for um just tees wise it's like 20 to 30 bucks okay so everything and on this without shipping you know? yeah, yeah yeah so everything here is like 20 to 30 and then you have wall pieces that are obviously a little bit more 100 to 300 bucks yeah um pants um everyone needs pants if you're not wearing pants it's true. I mean, I you, what, you wear shorts like a weirdo. Um, do, you not, do you not wear shorts? <laughs> no, no, I think shorts look really weird on me. Um, um, pants, literally anything and everything. Yep. Okay. Like older Levi's, cords, car, like. Got some Carhartt. Yeah. I was just telling them, these Carhartt double knees, look at this. Look at this price. 40 bucks for a 31? That's, that's like a really good price, honestly. I was telling them, I sell these on Depop for like 70 bucks, so. I, I, like, I, that's, I got in store. Uh, that's, in store. A, that's a really good price. That's a really good price, but. Got some teas. I'm definitely gonna like look through these a little bit more. Like I'll probably just set up the tripod, look through these and maybe pull out some cool ones to show you guys. We have a fitting room, right? Oh yeah, I built that in like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we got the fitting room here with the little chair. Oh, we gotta, we gotta you, Henry. you guys might know Final <laughs> Flame Vintage, Henry and Haley, they, uh, they got a little rack here. Oh, I just noticed these, the blanks. The blank like uh, flame hats that like kind of look like the Nike hats. And then like the one of one of the best mirrors you can have in a shop. Oh, this is this is a huge mirror actually. Mm -hmm. Hello, get in here, get in here. Look at that. We're gonna have to take a picture in this later. Right here is kind of like gaming area. We're just kind of like we're like I'll, I have a lot of high school kids coming in like during lunch and they'll just like buy stuff and then hang out for lunch and all that stuff. Dude, this space is like I mean I I know I've already said it but it's like big like there's mm -hmm. you could do so much in here like you could we're trying to throw a party in here dude i was gonna say yeah, they could have like, them. i was gonna say you wanna you wanna have a show here maybe I like, wanna do a show, like, like a like like, like a that. quick like two band show so that it doesn't get like yeah that'd be so sick yeah oh yeah i'll talk yeah we'll, we'll talk about that we got a little outerwear more mm -hmm. tees on the wall uh we got like what some button up yeah, short sleeve stuff yeah like Hawaiian shirts mm -hmm. um weirdly these sell really well Really? Um, I think a lot of people are more on the whole button up thing True. than I expected. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, even me, like, I enjoy wearing a little button up with, like, just a tank. Nothing in there, nothing no. to see in there. No. And but, hoodies and stuff. Yeah, definitely still a work in progress. I've only been in here for two and a half months. In this space, right? In this right? space, two and a half months. Yep. I definitely have a lot more in store. I just kind of rushed the process of opening because I did not want to have a point of I have no income. There's going to be a lot more to come. Uh, people will be featured in the shop. Uh, I could actually shout them out. Pink Bunny Studios. She does like a lot of anime stuff of like earrings, uh, trinkets, and um, water balls and all that stuff. Cool. So she's gonna be featured in the shop and we're hopefully gonna be working together cool. to make this more of a anime themed shop than just teas and all that stuff. Sweet. Yeah, well, I like the vibe for sure. And like, I'm definitely gonna look through some of the stuff. I also brought a bag of stuff. Uh, maybe we can go through that. And he wants a shirt off me. I do. He wants a shirt off well, me. I want, I want two, but I don't know about that one. But yeah, I mean, this was in the, if you guys watched the the Portland ThriftCon video, this was in it, this Wicked City. I really want it. It's like kind of big. I'll probably try it on, honestly. It's a double XL. I really want that too, but I don't know about that because I know he paid up on it and I'm not trying to spend that much on personal. Always right down to break even or just trades. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So I got a little bag of stuff. Maybe he'll go through it. We'll get some of that. And then we're just going to hang out here and mm -hmm. go through everything. Cool. Let's go. All right. There's nothing good in this bag. This hat is not for sale. Um, yeah, let's do it. Wait. My gifts on the ground getting all. There's like. There's nothing in this bag. Okay. Let, let's break it down. 
All right. I have uh, well, who was the guy that the Fear God guy like wore that? Oh, um, it was like Jerry Lorenzo. Yeah, it was really popular for a while. I have like three, two or three of those in there. <laughs> I feel like kids will buy them. So. Kids will buy them. Yeah, so. Really? I, honestly, I'm telling you right now, the best two tees are literally right there. So I have a, this is my, that was my personal, super faded, really distressed, but like, dude, the fade on it's crazy. This one's sick. This one is sick. It's a true XL. Oh, I remember when you found the, this. I found I, this. Dude, yes. I, I've just been sitting on it. I'm like, dude, I feel like if you hung that up, like some kid would want that or some kid's like dad that came in would want that. It's a pretty valuable tee, but I don't know. I just brought it just in case. Maybe we could work a deal on it. I don't want to wear this. Um, one. Dude, it's sick. That one's sick. I got it's a bit. It's actually a good XL. Yeah, another one of those, which is so hard to find a '70s tees. I just like some. Those are smalls. Like these are small. Yeah, that's a small. It's like a medium. More like a medium. Yeah, but kind of hat, and then a Shrek too. Bruce Lee, Hawaii tees. Literally, this is stuff I buy. I was gonna say. So while we're doing this, like, can people come in and bring you stuff? Yeah. Or like, what's the what's anyone the can come in, bring me stuff? Uh, I did, literally just did a buy. Yeah, yeah, today. we just did a buy. So like, yeah. I guess if you guys are in the Tacoma, Washington area, you can come in and maybe do trades or sell or anything like that. That's a pretty good one. This but one's actually, what? It's really sick. Yeah, but again, just kind of been sitting on it. So is, why does his face look like that? He looks like a, he's a baby face. What's up with his eye? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> um, no, I am always down to buy. Um, if you guys don't want to haul a lot, you can actually just DM me on Instagram uh, at Sips and Kicks, so S I P S A N D K I X, and you guys can send me like some of the stuff that you have, or mm -hmm. like tell me what you guys have before hauling it, because I feel bad at the yeah. end of the day if you come out of your way and like I don't really want your stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. just being completely transparent about it. Yeah, that one's sick. What is this? Blue Bar Anvil Event Sevenfold AOP. <laughs> <laughs> that one's sick. Oh, Ichiro. Ever. That one's sick. It's a long sleeve. It's kind of distressed, but it's dope. It's cool. Quicksilver? Yeah, it's it's like super box logo, like skater vibes. Butterfly tees. Yeah. What is this? It's like a river rafting tee. These are all like solid. This is like solid mid. This Oh my god. I dude, that shirt is so good. Not right? all men are stupid. Some, Some are, are bachelor. Bachelors. Dude, that, that, that's a personal. <laughs> yeah, that, that's definitely a personal. <laughs> Dude, I swear, okay, I have the weirdest thing about m and tees. Okay, let's hear it. Every time I see one, like, it's cool, but I think the best ones that sell, it sounds really weird, uh, the green m and Yeah, of course. The green m and Of course. It's got, like, I think that's all Mariner stuff. Yeah. Like, Nike, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, this is a good one. That's cool. That's the back hit. Mm -hmm. It's dope. Yeah. So, yeah, that's everything I brought you in. Do you like yes, it? Do you I like love it, dude. Okay. <laughs> The stack. Okay, so we <laughs> so we did one fifty for this one fifty for this little bundle. I got I have like all this listed too, so I gotta I gotta mm. mark this whole sold one fifty. Cool. Well, we're thinking about this now, so we're thinking about these two. I want the Wicked City, and we might make a deal for the Neon Genesis, but this is where we're at one fifty for all this. I gotta mark all this stuff sold. Um, I keep asking him, give me a number I for wanna, these. I want to hear your number. No, I know that's actually the best strategy. Yeah, too. Like, I'm not, like, because I, at the end of the day. Yep. If you come in here and try to sell me something, yep. I'm not gonna offer. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure, I won't offer. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I don't want to be disrespectful. Yeah. Um, I want to know your value. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That it's makes not sense. me trying to hoe you or whatever. No, yeah, yeah. Like, what do you want? Well, okay, okay. Let me ask this. Let me ask this. If you had these two pieces, what would you put them in the store for? I'm not selling them. You're not gonna sell these? No. You would you would keep both of these? I wanna keep the Sonics and then the Invaders in. Oh, so these would both be like yeah. personals or but ones you I'm not keep. gonna have that as an excuse. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't like it when people use that excuse. I'm just saying I, yeah, I don't yeah. know what I would sell. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Well, if something's a personal too, like I'm always willing to pay up more for it. Yeah. But that's not what I'm saying that's gonna happen in the situation, you know. But um What about what if I what if I say something too low? It's on me. Um, how about 150? So 300? No, no, no. 150 for Bowie. Oh, I mean, so 300 for everything. Yeah, 300 for everything. So I would do box at 100 on top. Yeah. Do I get promoed on Loveless Vintage? Dude, this is gonna be a whole YouTube video for you. <laughs> so, oh yeah, but yeah, we can do a story post too. Or yeah, a story thing too. Oh, okay. 
What if I want that though? No. <laughs> no personal for personal. That's the thing. Personal no, for personal. Dude. I know you don't want to spend money. You know, <laughs> I don't want to like. That's okay. Okay. So this thing. you'll bring this over to my house. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a good. Thing. I know this is a really good tea. Uh, so you'll bring that over to my house. We'll maybe try to work something out. But I don't want. Okay. Here's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. You as being my friend, I don't want you to spend money. Yeah, I don't want to spend money today either. Yeah, I don't want to, I literally don't want to spend money. I know. So I'd rather, I'd rather, I would gladly take that and a hundred bucks. Easy, easy. Oh, but you said, so three, three. You, you, realistically, do you want to do that in 50 bucks? Because this is trade instead of cash. That true. Was, 200 true. was cash. True, true. You want to do 50 cash and the Wicked City box like a promise. 75 cash. I think I'll do... You know what? I'll do 75 cash if I get a shout out and I get to be promoed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. we're already doing a YouTube video, <laughs> so that's already like a whole video for you. But yeah, yeah you want. The, cool. Yeah, you want the story? The little yeah. story I'm promoter? like the easiest person to deal with. Yeah, no, easy. <laughs> okay. All right, so I got the Wicked City for the personal. It is a double XL. It's a little bit big on me, but I like the fit. And then I have $75 in cash, but Cecil's trying to get me to spend it in here. Zero it out. So zero it out, he says. So I'm going to look in here and see if there's uh, any stuff that I can get maybe for Depop. There you go. That's all. That's all. Hey, we're just not trying to spend money right now. <laughs> I'm trying to get some money, though. I want some money. Dude, that's in. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's wildly in. You want me to explain to my YouTube that this is the one that Kanye wore? Kanye wore this sweater. I'll put a picture of it right here. He wore this sweater. It's the Kanye Wolf sweater. Yes, it is. He wore this sweater. Yes, bro. Not this exact one, but this design. 100%. I'll pull the picture right now on my phone. You don't believe me? No. Why would you? Mail time with Cecil. Let's oh go. Oh my god. So I was expecting only two packages. I didn't expect to have four. Um, so this is like a day in the life of a vintage yeah. store owner, right? You're getting new inventory in, right? Or are these personals? Um, we'll see. Above. Okay. Right. So this one is from Grateful Threads. Boots. Oh, damn. These are heavy. This one's by... Scars? Scars? A Luffy one? It's a one piece one, right? Yeah, one piece. Oh, the drunk Rockley. The drunk Rockley? Oh, the back is so much better. The front is hard. What's the back? The back is way. Oh, better. the back is sick. Yeah. What is. Oh, okay, now I know who this is. This is for the ladies. A little ladies bundle? Oh, is this like a kids bundle? Kids yeah. bundle? Kids bundle. Okay. You know, Let's ladies see. can wear it. Okay, a little. Is it all Pokemon? Uh, no. So, okay. second evolutions. Sorry. Gen 1 in a nice maroon. Mm -hmm, maroon? Mm -hmm. okay. Burgundy, yeah, maroon. Another one. Mm -hmm. Pokemon hit on the front. These are all what, like youth large? The youth or? large, youth XL. So, like, yeah. you know, baby T's are in right now. Yeah, yeah. This one's a cool one. This. Oh, that one's sick. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Needs a little cleanup, but. Yeah, that one's dope. You never see Poliwhirl or anything on. Yeah, in the I center see. too. That's sick. Ooh, sickness. Oh, DBZ. Youth DBZ. Nice. That one's sick. Ooh, this one's my favorite one. Is that an official one? This the is print official, is huge. Official Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, the print is huge. XL Brutal Loom. Okay. Everyone knows what this is, or not really. Ooh. ooh <laughs> Damn, this ooh. is big. Ooh, the cable? Is it comic images? What is it? Comic images. 
Dang. Oh. So I've really been into, okay, so backstory on why I buy a lot of these right now. Um, during 2020, 2021, I was never able to get any of these market life was ridiculous mm -hmm. on yeah. Mexican bootlegs. But now I'm actually getting them for reasonable prices and I'm happy about that. I mean, it sucks if I ever want to sell them, not gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> but true. This is... Dang. Captain America, I believe this one's a Resurrection, I believe. This one's cool. Yeah, that back is sick. Okay, so we were just talking and something came to my mind. I wanted to ask you, What's up? so what is the best and worst part of owning a vintage store, of owning this? Um, if you think off the top of your head. And like, worst doesn't have to be like anything crazy, but you know, like for someone that I guess is like, as me, like sells... Yeah. Online. only online like like what is something that like you like about having like an in-store and like i guess would be more of like a pain or something i think the one thing okay i'll say the one the one thing i love because it's actually taking me a while to actually think about what i hate which is a good thing um the one thing i truly love is actually interacting with my customers um, i love making the connection what do you what do you think is the worst thing for you dude i don't know like i i mean the, the like right off the top of my head if i said worst for a vintage store but it's like if you haven't had to deal with it then it's like nothing crazy mm -hmm. but i just like would be like Did you ever do a market yeah, I've done markets and stuff, but I'd be like so worried about like just people stealing from me. I feel like it's annoying. Mm -hmm. Have you ever like dealt with anything like that? Yeah. No? Or like like maybe you haven't caught anyone or have you noticed anything? No. Nope. Fun tip, if you want to add this in, fun tip if you're ever owning a store, put your register at the front, never put it in the back. It's a uh, constant monitoring. Because if you're in the back, like you really have to like yep. move around to like get someone. Um, having it up front is like, it's only a few steps for them to leave when yeah. purchasing something or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think the worst thing, realistically, okay, the worst thing, in my opinion, is it is definitely the overhead, but it's mixed with like constantly bringing inventory in. Okay, so it, it's hard if you're running like a, really a store, yeah. Um, because we need, we can't. It's hard to have racks that are like bare. So comparing yourself to like something online, you can just have like a whatever. You can literally have whatever list of like maybe like twenty, thirty, and you feel pretty set as mm -hmm. is. I don't know how much you put on Depop like that yeah. you feel comfortable at, like maybe like 30, 40 pieces yeah, yeah. or probably more. But for me, it's like, I want like a consistent of like having maybe a thousand pieces in a shop and me having to always do that. Like, I don't, I don't want to bring like baloney stuff. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to have like decent stuff because you guys are my shoppers at the end of the day. I don't want like the stuff to just sit. It is, it looks nice when it's full, but I want it to be full of, well, like, well curated as well as like stuff for everyone and anyone but it's more of the fact of that if someone wants like a nature tea go ahead i'll have that and then like just essentials things i love having the blank sweaters i think it's definitely um always constantly trying to bring new inventory, new inventory. quality inventory, quality in. inventory yeah. in yeah especially because like something like this i mean unless you're completely busting your ass off you're not going to be able to like source all of this yourself so yeah. you have to buy from people i want everyone and anyone to be here let's see it So I'm scootering around. How, how much? How much of the value is? Right here? Uh, the breakdown. Or this is like this is a couple thousand for sure, right? Yeah. So I'm currently scooting around a couple thousand dollars worth of t-shirts. All right. And I, and I just want to know. What's up? From the viewers at home. What's your favorite shirt on the ground right now? And right. from Cecil. Yes. I, I want to know. What is my favorite what's, tea? What's your favorite tea on the ground right now? These Ooh. are all mainly peyotes and resurrections of people that know, like Mexican yeah. bootlegs. I mean, the virtual boy obviously is not. Yeah. Like, you got the gits, which is bogum like, crisis gits. Most of these are. I mean, the neon genesis. Is, that's we already established. That's a bootleg. Yeah. You're gonna just sell it out for like five dollars. Yeah. What? <laughs> so that's that's nothing. Um. In all honesty. It's that venom in the back. The venom right here. The venom's like my favorite one right now. This one? Yeah. So it's a pre peyote. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Dude, so the back. Dude, okay, so read the back. It's the wildest thing you'll ever read. Yeah, I just saw something about him wanting to eat his brain. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Yeah. Washed like only a spider can. Eat his brain, drink his blood, throw him down with a thud. Look out, we'll eat the Spider-Man. Yep. That's actually nuts. Like, that's what I like about a lot of these. So, if not a lot of people know anything about, like, peyotes or resurrections and all that stuff, Mexican boob legs, it's the same thing as a rapti for us in the U.S., like yeah. they're all handmade or hand pressed. Um, they're all gonna be different 
Um, yeah, I mean, like, look at the Venom, like, the, the logo's not even, like, yeah. fully there and stuff. And, like, the print goes over the collar and stuff, which is, like, definitely... So it's, I, like, with, with, like, a giant screen print. Like, oh, create, for sure. Like, using a whole screen, you're gonna have, like, variations between tees like that. And then you'll get, like, incidents, like, print is, like, on the oh, inside. Oh, yeah, yeah, on the inside of the hems and stuff, yeah. So, you know a lot of these aren't, like, factory-made. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> we got this basketball hoop. What are we gonna do? Uh, if I make a shot, okay, so I'm, I'm, I have not shot the ball yet. Haven't shot the ball. I got it. I got it. Here, here, here. Oh, I got the best bet. Okay. Okay. If you make three in a row. Three in a row? Three in a row. You said you're a baller. Three, three free throws. That's all you need. I'll buy your dinner. How about a $20 tee? $20 tee? Something that's marked 20 bucks. What if I just make one shot? Nothing. What? So if I make one, I get nothing. Yes, that's fair. If I make two in a row, you get a free twenty dollars tea. If I make three, you're buying my yeah, dinner. Yeah, buy your dinner. Okay. Whatever. I think that's completely fair. Oh, okay. Whatever. Oh, God. So would I get three shots then? How about one practice shot then? One practice. One shot. Pra one practice shot, and then after that, you gotta go. Okay, one practice shot, and then after that, it's like if I miss it, then I just don't get anything. Then we just stop there, right? Yeah, well. Or is it out of three? Out, out of, well, yeah, out of three. Out of three. Yeah. So I could miss one and then make the other two. Yes. Or like make one, miss one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's a and camera. a practice shot. Yeah, one practice shot. Okay, okay. Just don't hit the fan. I don't want to hit the fan. Dude, I'm not that bad. Damn, he sucks. No! So I can still get. You can still get a free tee. I can still get a tee? Okay. I just gotta make two. Yes. No! Nothing! <laughs> Alright, well, let me just take that last shot. Let's see if you can at least make one. Okay, you don't have to say it like that. There we go. One more? Okay, uh, yeah. Just try one more. Just try one more. All or nothing? All or nothing. Well, you're already at nothing. I just bounced off. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. okay. No! Yep. All right. Well, it was still nothing. Yeah, fair. Yeah, whatever. Come on, man. Now I'm locked in, see? Oh, my God. Now I'm locked in. You see? Now I'm locked in, man. I was three in a row. I was three in a row. That doesn't count. I'm just going to edit it so it looks like I make a three in a row. And, dude, come on. Where's my dinner? You got to buy my dinner yeah. now. Okay, we are back home and really quick to end out the video, I just wanted to say thank you to Cecil. Thank you to Sips and Kicks for having me to your store. Make sure to go follow him on Instagram. And if you guys are in the area, check it out. He gifted me this Studio Ghibli tote, the not for resale, very sick. Definitely gonna be using this one. And then we did make a trade for the Wicked City box logo grail, size 2XL. It is pretty big and baggy on me. He definitely hooked it up with the trade value with this one. So love this anime. Very, very good animated movie. If you haven't seen it, definitely recommend it. Yeah, maybe you guys will see some more content with me and Cecil in the future. It would be so sick if I just like sat in on a day of his shop, like actually being open and operating and kind of like got some of his sales and stuff like that. Be super sick, kind of like round two, but like just the vintage side of it. I don't know. I thought that'd be cool. So if you guys would like some content like that, be sure to let me know in the comments and I will catch you guys in the next one. This is Jack. Jackson Loveless Vintage. Peace out.